hello and many hugs. I'm Danielle and welcome. So this video, if you've seen, uh, you've seen the title, is going to be my, I'm going to be sharing with you my ring collection thus far. And this video was suggested by one of my viewers and I thought, if I don't have to buy something <laughs> to share with you all, that's great. So I'm so happy to share with you my ring collection and I do hope I can add more to it. I do love wearing rings so much. It just adds that extra oomph to my outfits that I wear. And how do you guys like this wig? It's very pastel goth. Like I really wanted a light pastel rainbowy rainbowy wig. <laughs> so I decided to wear this today with this uh, video. And I got my nails on. And I hopefully they're extra sturdy because I've been trying a new technique with my fake nails. And I also got these from Amazon. My wig is from Amazon and these nails are as well. All right, so let's get to it because I do have quite a few rings. And here they all are. I do tend to keep them in bags. I've been keeping them together, like which ones fit better on which finger. But there are some that are a set, like I'll show you that soon. And then my viewer was asking to know the meaning of my rings. But a, I, a lot of the time, it's just that I really like it. I really, it's some, you know, something that I'm a fan of and just looked really cool. <laughs> so let's just get to it. And then they want to know also where I've got them from. A lot of them I have bought from Shein. Uh, some other places I may have bought them from were our Killstar or Hot Topic and Etsy. So I don't know if I should put on just like a bunch of rings on my fingers and then share them with you. So I guess I'll do that and then show you a close up. So the rings I have on right now on my fingers are going to be a um, combination from Killstar and then just one from Etsy that I bought from. So here is <laughs> my rings that I have on right now. Oh, I like better. Okay. So these three are from Killstar and these two are from Killstar as well. And this one is from Etsy. <laughs> and this one is called the Ring of O and it's, um, I just really like how it looks on there. Like, I just like the look of it. There's a similar ring that I really wanted, but it is kind of expensive. And I just haven't justified getting it, but I really, really would like to have it. And it's kind of a similar style, but but not really. It's, it's just another kind of different type of the ring of O. Okay, so yeah, so this is it. I usually wear it on my left hand, which is funny because I Googled if it really has a meaning and meaning, I mean, it does. It's if you're interested in the BDSM world. Um, and then if you wear it on your left hand, which I usually do, which I didn't know meant that you are a sub, but I'm not too familiar with that world. I do find it interesting. <laughs> and I think if I was ever to ever to be a Dom or a sub, I probably would be a sub. But I like, I like to, I don't know. I'm probably a mix of both. Who's to say? I don't know. Get away. Anyway, back away from the subject. All right. And then this is from Killstar. This one is called the Poison Weddle Ring. And this is pretty cool because you unlatch it and it has a little spot in there. And you can put a little mint in there. <laughs> That's what I've only, only, only have been able to put in there. But, uh... He does have a broken leg, which it came like that. And I was like, oh, I should return it. But it actually gives it character. He has a story now. And then this one is called the Midnight Ring. Um, I don't know if any of these are still available to get from Killstar. I will try to see if I can link them to the site if you are interested in these lovelies. And then this one's called the Ethel Ring. And I don't... <laughs> I don't have the bag and I try to keep the bags for my Killstar rings just so that I know what they're called and they just live in there where they came in. But I did not keep it for this guy. I've had him for quite a bit so I don't even know the name of it. But it's very cute snake holding, you know, the little jewel in the middle. It's always very cute. And then this one is the, I'm going to say it wrong, Tiamat ring? 
and I just really liked it. It was like a dragon face. I don't know his story. Uh, you can let me know what this guy's story is or her story, whomever it is. But I just really like the look of it. It's very nice, very pretty. Okay. All right, so I got the next uh, few rings on, and these ones are from Hot Topic. So um, I actually have this bracelet one, which has the rings on it, but with nails, I can't latch it. It took too long to try to figure that out, but this is kind of what it looks like, but it, it more so will go around my wrist, this part. So yeah, I couldn't put it on. So, but there's these ones, and I got this from Hot Topic, and then I got this, uh, Actually, it was like a little set uh, with not including this one, but this one I did also get from Hot Topic. This is Haku from, I hope that's his name, from Spirited Away. And I had seen someone wearing this on, I believe, TikTok, and I ran over to Hot Topic and wanted it because it just looked so cute. And now they have other things that are cute that are from Spirited Away, and I'm like trying not to go buy them because... Although it is cute, Hot Topic can be pricey sometimes, um, so I don't love it that much to go and run and get it, uh, but I guess this is kind of like a little haku, but I just, um, mainly it is for my, my dad, because he's the year of the dragon, um, but it was like, oh, it looks haku too, so I hope I'm saying the name right, I'm sorry if I am not, <laughs> but I do love that movie, it's such a cute movie. I love the Ghibli, Studio Ghibli movies, um, uh, most of them. I haven't seen a whole lot of them, but I've seen quite a few. And then these were a whole set together. Uh, it was just for some kind of like little psycho uh, emo kind of thing. I really loved it because I really loved this heart ring that says Ugg on it and then this hatchet because, you know, I love my hatchets. But I don't really tend to <laughs> wear these two. Uh, they don't really fit my aesthetic, but sometimes I will wear... Maybe the bear, but I don't know. But this one barely fits the string. But it, the these one these all kind of fit my uh, index. What is it? Uh, the wedding, the ring finger. <laughs> Can't talk. But I don't buy too many rings from Hot Topic, only because their sizing. They don't really say too much of what their sizing is, and they don't really give you choices so I tend not to buy because I'm afraid they won't fit at all so that's why I don't have that many from Hot Topic even though they I think they have cute stuff but yeah I'm just like mm, that might not fit me <laughs> okay so this next set is from Amazon and I actually have like two other sets that I bought from Amazon so this one's black paint painted on the silver so a lot of them because of where wear and tear I have lost some of the black to them but these are actually some of my favorite ones and then not all from this set are here because they are cheap and some of them are like adjustable so you can kind of switch them to fit your finger more and some of them are just so thin and cheap that when you did it they broke so I don't have um, all of the ones in this set but these are these ones. And actually my favorites from these ones are the thumb ones. I can't do it. Um, but see how they've lost a lot of their paint already? Because I do wear these ones a lot because they fit perfectly on my thumb ring. My thumbs. I can't. <laughs> Why can't I do that one right? But uh, yeah, these ones are a couple of my favorites. And then this one, the spider, is just so big and awesome. But you see on the plate of the around the ring is losing its black but also i got the there's a snake there's a puppy i do not wear this puppy one <laughs> and then i don't really wear this one either uh, i just put it there because it wasn't i think it fits better on my pinky i think because it won't go all the way down on my ring finger and then there's this cool octopus one which i wear sometimes he's pretty cool because also this finger is hard to find uh rings for but he because i think more so that he is adjustable you can move his legs and stuff that he can fit i can fit him there pretty good and then this side this one just like an accent ring is kind of cool i don't wear it too often because i do have a lot of pinky rings and there's other cool pinky rings that i like to wear 
And then there's these little cat ears, which I seldom, I sometimes wear, but not all the time. And this one I definitely don't wear. It's kind of weird. It doesn't It doesn't really feel good on my finger, but if anything, it'll have to fit on the pinky one. And then this one's cool. It's adjustable, so it can fit within, like, these two. I also have another one because some of the other ones did have rings from other sets, but there was something particular I wanted from the other set, so I was like, oh, well, I got dupes of the other ones. But anyway, so I have a dupe of this one. It's kind of like a... Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a rose vine with the thorns on it, but there's no rose. <laughs> anyway, and then here's a little dragon hugging my fingers. So this one actually is not from this, uh, originally was from this, wasn't from the sets from a different set, but the one from this one broke. This is the one like in the middle. I guess it was just really cheaply made because this one does fine, but it really it just split right in the middle when I was trying to adjust it. I'm like, no, it was so cute. Um, but so I got him from a different set. So I was just like, well, I'll just put it in here since most of this set is missing. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so let me get the other ones on and show you. Okay, so this next one's another like the black paint on silver. But actually, I've been uh, the only one I've really worn out is a snake one that's gonna you're gonna see right away like most of it's black is off but all the other ones are pretty still intent oh and the octopus leg one okay so this this sand a lot of them are more uh they fit more of my pinky ones so i have just a lot of them going as far as they can on my other fingers <laughs> but i really wanted this set because of the thing the teeth this one um i don't really wear the star or the wings but they're cute to have if i ever and I made this one fit, but it doesn't really necessarily fit my thumb ring, but I'm like, something's got to go on the thumb. So yeah, there's this one, but I just, uh, yeah, most of them are for pinky. Not e They won't even probably fit on this uh, ring finger one, but yeah, the pinky one, uh, pink, a lot of pinky ones. <laughs> and then here's the side. I also, I really liked the spider, like spiders, uh, love snakes. So to see how this, a lot of the paint is gone from him. <laughs> And then I really liked this claw. I really wanted the claw. And this web one is really cute. I like the mushroom. But I don't necessarily wear the mushroom one or, uh, no, just the mushroom one. And then this one's really cool. I love the octopus legs. But yeah, the paint is being, is going away too on that. But I don't know. It seems, I don't mind. I don't really, uh, doesn't bother me much. It kind of gives it a, a, you know, an effect, <laughs> I guess. Okay, and then on to the last pair of the Amazon one. Okay, so I'm going to actually do two parts to this ring set because a lot of them are actually for the uh, my thicker fingers, <laughs> like my thumb and index. Is that what's called? Yeah, I think so. Pointer finger? Is it called a pointer finger or the index finger? But anyway, um, yeah, so they're more for my bigger rings because I had seen their sizing and I was like, oh, maybe those will fit. We'll have more choices for those fingers. So here's the first group. Like this one's my absolute favorite. I love this eyeball and look at it follows you. And I didn't even realize that till I had seen a TikTok and they're like, it was actually an advertisement for these for another kind of ring. That'll show you that actually it was a that I got from a sheen haul and I didn't even know. I was like, oh, and they were advertising it saying, get the ring up the where the eye follows you. And I was like, oh, it does. And I was like, oh, that it does. It's so creepy and cool. And then uh, I, another claw ring, um, this really cool skull. This one had a lot of skulls in it because I was like, why don't I have more skull rings? <laughs> so I have this one. And then here's a dragon. He's cool looking. But yeah, there's, there's those. And then this side, it came with another eyeball one, but I like the red one better. But this one's cool too. It does still follow you. And another claw. And another dragon. I don't know if it's you're able to see it as good it isn't looking at there it goes and and then the this one I love too is another octopus tentacle like wrapping around my thumb it's pretty cool all right let me get the okay, other so one. I have the other rings the the rest of the rings on that are from that same set but then I also added two things that really didn't have I mean it had they're kind of a different category I only have one and I'll just explain it but um but let me show you because I have three of the remaining ones on this one and then two on my other hand so here's the remaining three of this hand and um it's this Punisher ring doesn't fit me all that well I feel like it's gonna fall off 
but it fits my thumb. And then here's another skull one. Like this is one of the ones I really wanted. I was like, yes, that's a pretty cool skull. This one's kind of weird. I don't know if uh, I really like it. I don't know if you can even try and like really see what it is, but it's like a face coming out of another face. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, I don't think it's really capturing it. It might be too bright. I'm like, I don't know how to angle it good enough for you to tell, but I don't really wear that one either. It's like, uh, that's really weird. All right, let me show you the two on this one. So there's a dragon one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here's a dragon one and a hand one. And then I like this hand, skeleton hand one, but it also too doesn't really fit my fingers that well. It's a little bit too big. Uh, which sucks though because I really like it and I wish it was kind of adjustable but it's not but yeah um I really like that one so I can well I have some comparable ones but anyway and then the last two is actually one I got from a thrift store and then another one someone gifted me um I don't really wear them too much um I thought this was really cool but I don't really <laughs> wear it all that often and then someone gifted this to me it's a Levitin ring um yeah, I just, I don't wear it too much, plus I appreciate any gift I get, and I do hold on to a lot of stuff in the, from the past, <laughs> and I, I don't know, I just, um, it's a cool ring, but I don't really wear it that much, and uh, I don't know if it has bad memories to it, I don't know, I just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's just still in my collection. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's those rings from the rest of the set from Amazon, besides these two. In the next group, I totally forgot these two rings that I got from Etsy as well. So I could have paired it with my uh, the ring of O, but I totally forgot where they came from. So hold on. So I paired the rings that I got from Etsy with some rings some of the rings that I got from Shein because uh yeah I got a lot of rings from Shein this hand has uh rings from uh two rings from Etsy and then the rest are from Shein and then this whole hand has uh all the a bunch of rings from Shein and actually a set that really goes well together okay so let me uh show you this one so these are the two I got from Etsy and this is my death moth and I was able to customize the eyes to the color I want and my birthstone is ta topaz so and you know it's funny i never really liked topaz like growing up and everything but i was like actually topaz would be perfect for this one because of the you know either that or red but i was like yes yellow eyes or orange eyes would look perfect for this death moth so when i ordered this one i was actually ordering something um else <laughs> first and then it um it said you can get like something else to make the shipping free so i was like why not and i saw this ring and i was like this is so cool I would really like that skull ring. And also, it's a bottle opener. <laughs> so I was like, double score. A cool skull and it opens bottle caps. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. And I have tried it. I believe I opened it on a video once before. And I showed it in it, it working. I do have to wear it on like a different, uh, like, a, like a finger that has more... Uh, way wait uh that can just handle it better because it definitely wouldn't really handle it well on this finger okay and then these are from the rest are from Shein I saw this really cool vertebrae uh or spine ring which was really cool and then oops this guy's turned around and then this one which it, this one came in a set of other little ones I don't think you can tell it's like probably too shiny but it's got like little stitches on it I thought that was just cute. And then a snake. And roll the snake footage because the nether other hand, the set that I got, oops, the set that I got from Shein is a snake one. So it fits on all your fingers. And actually I'd seen this on a different website and I was like, that is so cool. But it was like so expensive. And then I happened to do like the Google search that helps you find like different products and stuff. And I brought up Shein and I was like, really? And so I was able to get it there for a much cheaper cost. And then this guy is an owl. And this is actually the one on TikTok that they were advertising. But um, <laughs> look at it. So its eyes follow you where it goes. And I was like, that's cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah, the 
I really like this one. I don't wear it. I haven't worn this one, I don't think, out anywhere, but it is pretty cool. And I bought a lot of snakes from Shein, so I think the next one will be all my snakes. I'm going to see if I can get all my snakes together. So Okay, so here is a bunch of my snake rings that I got from Shein. <laughs> so we'll start with this hand first. So I have these guys. Um, there they are, <laughs> except for the last one, which is kind of a similar like the one that comes close to that skull hand holding but i think this is like supposed to be a real hand so i don't know but i do like it i wear it sometimes um but those are my snakes this guy has i don't know if you can tell but he's got green eyes and i really like how he just kind of lays on my finger there and then here's the other side and i have this one's the same as this one but in red and yeah there's just more snakes. I really like this guy. Um, his it's his tail is supposed to go more in his mouth, but mine came like that, and I can't really push it together. It's like way too stiff. So, and then here's this little pinky snake guy. It's like a double headed snake on each side. Yeah. So these are all the rest of my snake rings from Shein. All right, and then we're down to the nitty gritty. I hopefully I can get this last batch on all my fingers. All right, so I have the last few. I got them all on my fingers and ready to show you. And these are all from Shein. So we'll start with this one. And these are a lot of my favorite ones. Of course, all the bat ones are <laughs> I love, of course. But there's this one's really cute. It's a, a pinky ring of a bunch of skulls got my bat wing and if you see this web one I have in black as well so it's kind of a dupe but in silver I actually have two of those web black ones <laughs> so if I ever wanted to um have have both finger both pinkies and webs I'm covered and then this middle one this bottom one is one of my favorites it's the um the skull hands making a heart love it so much it is a little bit worn it's got more of like the you know whatever silver paint on I don't know how it's changing into that but it's fine I still love it and then this one's got a spiky on it and actually this one doesn't really fit my fingers too well so I haven't been able to worn it but I love that there's spikes on it and then this one bat love the bat one of course and this cool chain one and then this one's like a dragon head kind of looking dude he's pretty cool looking and then on this side I've got this cool skull one I love him I fell in love with him and I made sure to get him and then I've got more uh and I've got this dragon and he just sits on my finger one of my favorite dragon ones and then this is my uh <laughs> my another bat one and this web one this web one makes me sad because it fits none of my fingers <laughs> and then I have this really weird one it's like a dagger and um like a death moth I don't know it's got a skull Oops. it has a skull head it's got butterfly wings and a dagger going through it and then you've also seen that this spider one I had in black as well. So I have kind of a dupe, but in silver. And then this last one's one of my favorite pinky ones. Oops, he's upside down. Hold on. Is a little skull head. <laughs> he's so cute. All right, so that was my ring collection. Yes, I do have a lot. <laughs> and I'm always looking out to see if there's any other things that I might like to add to my collection. Uh, of course, there's always a lot of different things that come to mind that I try to look for. Like, I would wish I had an onk ring that would look really cool, but I haven't found one that was like that I want to purchase or whatever. And yeah, so I do hope you enjoyed seeing my collection, and I will do my best to try to link the collect the like sets that I have from the different places. And I don't think I mentioned that I do buy some from Amazon or not, but I do. Um, I just see something and if I like it enough, I'll buy it. <laughs> and a lot of them are on the cheaper side. So yeah, like a lot of them will, are losing their paint and whatnot. But if you're okay with that, then that's then why not buy them? I do get a wear out of them because I do try to wear rings with all my outfits that when I get dressed up. It's only rare that I'll spend the next amount of money on a ring. It just has to really speak to me in order for me to spend that much on a, a ring. 
Uh, if you're wondering my size, which I don't know why you would, but <laughs> but here it is. <laughs> like for my bigger ring, uh, my bigger fingers, I am a size like eight, like eight point five or something, or like a little more than eight. That makes it comfortable, but usually it's around eight. That uh, is my ring size. <laughs> But anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and thank you from the viewer, uh, Melissa, for requesting this video. It was fun, and I loved this getting dressed up for you and sharing my rings with you. Not a lot of them had, like, a story to them. It's just basically really liking them <laughs> and adding them to my collection and being able to wear them out. But I have had compliments on my rings in the past by people, like, in public and stuff, so... I like my choices. <laughs> All right, and let me know what your favorite is if uh, if you have one or if you have any of the rings that I gotten because I know there's a lot of you out there that buy from Sheen as well. So just let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have a request about other videos, I would love to hear them. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye.